Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's In today's video, I just kind of wanted to do, I guess, like a process video with you guys on how to make these um, adorable little flowers. Like, they are so pretty full and all I do is use up my scrap paper for this. Like, anytime I have a little big of a scrap, I put it in like my scrapbook pile and then I go through it from time to time and I cut out some flowers. It's nice to also have these on hand. They look amazing on projects and I have used them a numerous amount of times. Um, but I wanna show you guys like some of the paper that I cut out, for example, that purple one, it looks good, doesn't it? Well, I used this like patterned paper. Um, there's this, um, what was this yellow one? That yellow one is like a notebook kind of paper. You guys see that? Um, what else did I have? I think the other ones like I actually cut out already. Here's an example of that blue one. It's this kind of pattern and like they're all different. Um, and this is actually like one particular file that I love. I have three different SVG files for flowers, but I love this one the most and like the shape. Um, you do not have to use um, an SVG file, especially if you do not have a um, electronic cutting machine. You can use a die. So different dies are gonna have different shapes and this is slightly different obviously than the one I cut out like you guys could see here. This one has rounder edges and this one is the SVG, but I did cut out the other one as well to show you guys, which looks like this and it has a little bit rougher edges. So I'm gonna put both together so you guys could see the difference, but Otherwise, I'm just going to do a process video and kind of give you maybe a little bit of tips along the way. Um, so let's put a couple of these together. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. This is the one I have cut out using um, the die. You guys could see this is like the scrap paper, but I just used a die for this. And this is easier if you start it with some kind of like pointy tool. So this is called like a pincer or the fine tip um, needle point tweezers. Um, I got these on Amazon, so I could just have them linked down below. But basically, it's easier to start this if you just grab the end instead of trying to use your fingers for this, and then just start rolling that in. And once you have like a good amount, then you could do the rest with your finger and just kind of like um, roll it together with your finger. And you just kind of roll in it. So I find this hard to do because this one starts on like the left hand side, whereas these ones start on the right. So I do find this one um, a little harder because I'm not a lefty. And I find, I don't know, it's just a little harder to do. But I do want to show you guys what the die looks like anyway. Once it's put together. So you just keep rolling, like turn on a show and, you know, just roll away and build up your stash or include them in some happy mail. Now the end piece here um, is just like a flat piece like that. You want the flower to go over it. So you let it go now and it's like curled. Then just take some hot glue. And I also like to wear my finger protector because hot glue gets hot. Obviously, it's called hot glue, but I'm just taking um, my hot glue here. I have the bottom of my flower, and I'm just putting a whole bunch of hot glue, and then I'm going to stick this in like the center of that flower, and then you could shape the other pieces and kind of bring them up as well. And there you go. Like there's a beautiful rolled flower. So that's what it looks like and then from here you kind of just want to like roll out the paper a little bit and roll out the edges you guys see I'm kind of just like flattening out some of the edges that I can grab from the center and then it looks like that sorry guys I know it's hard to see my camera keeps going out of focus um, you totally don't have to roll it but I feel like it gives it like a nice look an effect instead of just being like all clumped together but here comparing um this one this which was the die and this one which is the svg file they look a little different for sure and i still prefer this one so um i will have this one linked down below as well but maybe you also want to look for a different kind of file that has 
the rounder edges, but it's also just personal preference. So whichever one you guys prefer better. So I'll do another one with you guys as well. Here, so I'll do this one with you guys now. I'm going to use my little pincer tweezer thing, just start it, and I'm just gonna start rolling. And again, I think it's easier to do it when um, it starts on the, I guess, the left-hand side and you roll this way, because the other one just starts the other way. And it's just easier to roll, in my opinion. So I'm just gonna roll it and just, you know, Get a nice little hand workout here. And same thing here, when you get to the end and you can't roll anymore, you're kind of just gonna bring it up, unroll it, and just like kind of let it go. And then grab some hot glue. Gonna put a good, generous amount, and then place it down. And this is where it gets hot because um, you have like a load of hot glue at the bottom, so when you're holding it, kind of keep it in place it gets a little hot sometimes and I mean you could totally keep your flower like this like doesn't that even look gorgeous you don't have to fan out any pieces but I will take it that step further and I'm just rolling them out just a little bit not too much and as many pieces as I could get like some from the inside some from the outside and I'm just rolling them out this is like a nice thing to do using up some scrap paper. You totally, you know, don't need a lot for this. And I actually recently figured out that I could add a grid to um, the Silhouette program so I know kind of like where it's gonna cut so, like according to my scrap paper size. So, oops, that has been um, super helpful. But yeah, I the rest of this I'm gonna do like a little process video. But uh, like, again, I hope you guys, you know, give this a try. And I was totally inspired by Cheryl she created like a million of these. You guys have no idea. She created so many, but then I created like a little bit. I thought I created a lot, but I guess I didn't. Um, and uh, my scrap stash built up again, and I thought I would just use up some scraps and, you know, make some more flowers. So it's just a nice fun project and a nice thing to gift to your friends um, for some happy mail. And they're just so cute. I love sticking them onto projects and they definitely add a little bit of dimension. Also depends on their size, but they definitely add some dimension to your projects. Okay, so the rest of these, I am just gonna get started on doing some rolling. I'm gonna turn on a show myself and just watch it on my iPad while being on camera with you guys. And it's just a nice little process video. So definitely give these a try. I will have the link down below. I will also have um, Cheryl's uh, video link down below, the one that inspired me. And then I will also have um, the die that I did show you guys linked down below as well. So, all right guys, go get your scraps and start cutting out some flowers. So feel free to use up your scraps for this. Um, you could also just use like solid colored paper. Like you guys see the gold ones I'm doing? Those are solid just paper that I have, like leftover scraps that I'm using. I didn't use like a full sheet or anything. I just cut out some leftover scraps, but you guys can see that patterned paper works well. Solid colored paper works well. They both work and I definitely want to see you guys give this a try because they're so fun to make and gift and add to projects. The next thing I'm going to do with some of these is actually put some like Mod Podge on the top of them and dip them in glitter and maybe that would look super cute. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet but if you guys do it before me, let me know. Um, otherwise, just have fun making them. It's a nice relaxing um, craft to make. Um, and just something you could do sitting in front of a TV. So it's good and you get to stock up your stash. Show you guys how cute this is in happy mail or a book box and i will have a book box tutorial link down below as well and a project share in case you guys want to see other ones i've created but for example look 
I stocked these all up with some flowers. Oh, I got some bent. Um, but it's so stinking cute. This person could use up like these flowers. They could add them to projects and they have so many. I just like stocked them up on flowers, guys. Now I got to stock up my own stash because they're so cute. And they also go with the collection that I was working with. And they were just pieces of scrap paper. So that's a good way to use them up. And I thought I would just show you guys. Definitely um, give it a try. And I would love to see what you guys create. So I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. Talk to you soon. Bye.